Welcome to a lesson with Dr. Powell. Let's suppose that we have a function f of x, y, um, and let's just make it simple, x squared, y minus 3xy, okay, uh, squared, okay, something like that. All right. Now, what we want to do is we're going to talk about direction of greatest increase. So the output of this function z and maybe from a certain point let's suppose we work from the point one one so from the point one one which direction should we travel so that the actual function z is growing the fastest we want the fastest growth we want to climb the climb in the highest way this idea is actually very important especially if we go piece and uh, piecemeal and we're trying to look we're trying to make a path that gets to a, the highest point on a surface algorithmically this is a great idea if you're trying to optimize a problem if you can you can incrementally kind of travel in the in the path of greatest ascent in order to get to a peak or kind of reverse the process and find find a low valley so this is a this is a nice so it's a nice idea to be able to have this especially if you're trying to find the max um, an x y value that maximizes some some kind of function so um so let's take a look at that how do we find the maximal direction from let's suppose the point one one that we're trying to to go all right, let's just think about what the derivative is and what it means. So when we take the derivative of this, we get, you know, I'll just label it. We could compute it and we will, but we're gonna get fx, fy, okay? And then the way we find the rise is we take a dot product, right? Take a dot product, a change of x, change of y. Now, let's, restrict ourselves since we're only thinking about direction let's pretend that change of x change of y is a unit vector so let's just pick runs that are unit vectors so the length of this guy I thought of as a vector i've written it as a column but let's just think of it as a vector then um, the length of that let's suppose it's one now if you take a dot product for something with length one that is the equivalent to projection or finding projection length of this guy onto that one so if this one let's call this u for a minute um so here's u suppose and fx fy we can think of that as a vector if you want to because that's two two parts let's just think of it as a vector so essentially what we're doing is we're finding the projection of this onto that unit now, how can we change u so we get the maximum projection? Well, it's pretty simple. You just kind of rotate it up so it's right in line with this. So if you want to maximize your rise, you actually, um, by changing direction, you actually should point your direction right in the same way that fx, fy is pointing, which is kind of fun because actually the derivative actually tells you the direction of greatest increase itself fx fy is the direction the fastest direction of growth of the function the derivative itself if you think of it as a vector um, normally this is called the um, this is called the gradient the gradient of f and it's the direction of greatest increase so i mean let's just go ahead and make a computation here on this one okay I'll make a little computation here so we know that um, this is going to be um, okay we can take the derivative with respect to x only so we get uh, 2xy um, minus 3y squared comma because that's just the fx part um, and then we get respect to y, we get x squared minus um, 
suspect to y, right? So yeah, minus six x y. Okay. All right. So that right there is the direction of greatest increase. So if we're working from the point one one, what's the direction of greatest increase from one one? So we can just plug in one one into this, and you would see you get two minus three and one minus six. So we end up getting negative one, negative five. So this is the direction. Of course, you could change it to a unit vector divided by its length to really just get the direction. But nonetheless, we still get direction. Direction of the greatest increase um, from the point one, one for this function is if you change your input in this direction, okay? So, um, so for instance, if we were at one, one, we want to move in that direction. That means that we would add by a multiple of this vector. Okay, so we could say 0.1 times that vector if we wanted to, and negative 0.1, negative 0.5. Okay, so if you if you looked at this input right here, this input um, would probably would be would have a greater increase maybe than another direction. That's kind of the idea, the rough idea at least, that you would expect um, if you're thinking about this gradient, the gradient uh, vector. There's a reason why it's called gradient. We'll show that in the next video, but you can kind of almost start to see why. It is the direction of greatest increase, so it kind of goes along with the grain. Um, greatest increase on in the input. So this vector actually lives in the input, right? Because it's, because, uh, the input is x, y, the output has a z in it, but we're not dealing with that. So this really just lives in the x, y plane, this vector. And, um, but if, you, if your input proceeds in that direction, that is the direction of greatest growth of altitude, z. Thanks for watching.